Hello guys and welcome to Europa Universalis Common Sense. We're going to be playing a achievement run because I have quite a few achievements left that I need to get for myself. And I was thinking that the one for Tatanic Order to conquer entire Russian forces is quite interesting. We can start with that. So we're going to be playing as Tatanic Order. Let's play on Iron Man mode. And let's save it. YouTube. And let's go. Okay, th so the plan is we're going to go for achievement of Baltic Crusader. Basically what the achievement stands for, we have to conquer entire entire Russian population in here. So as you can see Russian culture is in here. I'm going for that. So that's the Russian culture, all of that has to be ours. I'm not sure if Ruanian and Belarusian culture is included or not. It may be. But for now we have quite a few plans in here to actually do. My fair go first goal is to see who is Austria the friends with. Because I want to ally them as quickly as possible. They hate Lithuania, they hate Bohemia and they hate Bur Burgundy. That's great news for us. We're going to be hating Bohemia. Oh, we're going to be hating Lithuania as well. As our final enemy, we're going to choose Poland. Just because we really can, that's the main reason. So now I have three enemies. I want to make sure that Aus Austria is my friend as quickly as possible. So let's send somebody in there. My main goal for this episode, at least, is to try to join the Holy Roman Empire. What sort of missions do we have? Improve prestige, solidify population, conquer Kolberg. That sounds like a decent mission to do quite quickly. I can take it. And I have quite a bit of money, so I can get some advisors and I will want them reasonably quickly as well. Well, grab the one for here. None of you are good, actually. Better relation over time, I will take it, but it's four ducats. I cannot afford that yet. Discipline. I will take you as well. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's just grab some decent guy in here. Just to get more points into our mana points. Okay, so we get to we get to choose the new person in here, that's fine. Local noble for extra prestige. Pomenaria of Titanic Orders plus 50, that's not bad, but I want to attack them so it won't matter. Some gold, some devotion, devotion minus prestige. Papal influence, do I want papal influence that much? Not really, to be honest. Not that fast. If it was more, I would probably go for it. I will go for Prestige. Prestige is always nice to have. Livonian Order? Uh, yes, we can be friends. That's fine. Don't spam friends too much. At least not at this stage of the game. We're going to go... To this some army. I see two, three, four, four five guys. I want to go to maximum limit. We'll be starting the wars reasonably quickly in here, really. Let's see who else do we want to befriend. Possibly France? Considering that you are not enemies to each other. You are not here. And France, you are enemies with who? England, Burgundy and Provence. So we could be friends. What are your chances of alliance? Well, we could get there. Let's go, France. I think we can we can become friends. What I want to do as well, I want to support independence on Sweden reasonably quickly as well. Because the Moscovy will start the war on Novgorod soon. And then they will go after Sweden. And I want Sweden to be able to fight as quickly as possible there. Mackenburg, no thank you. I need some good allies. 
What are my relationships here? I have one for now with Livonian Order. I can have three. So that's going to be Austria, France and Sweden. So that's how we're going to roll with it. No, thank you. How is Austria standing for the alliance? 31. They will get there. That's good. Especially as our army is improving here. What boats do we have? The barks, we can have them patrolling. And let's see at our trade routes as well. Where are my guys? I have one in here. And the other one there. That's fine. We can protect the trade in Novgorod or in here where we're collecting, I think, aren't we? We are. <laughs> we're collecting on Baltic Sea and that's what we're going to protect. So go home at war. Da -da -da. And protect the trade in Baltic Sea. Yes, please. Go for it. Rest of you beam off ball. I don't need them for now. Make them handy if there is a war. But for now, I don't think I will need them. Let's just see if I need more of them or not. Could have four more? I have money. Let's just go. Three. Four. It will take a while. But we can afford it. So let's go for it. Alright, so my plan, as I said, is join the Holy Roman Empire as quickly as possible. Attack Pomeneria, take some land. Then go after Poland. Okay, somebody become the free city, I'm cool with that. Same religion, we should have a relationship for being enemy of the enemy. Oh, because you haven't chosen Bohemia or Lithuania as your enemies, well, that's fine. We'll still get there. 31, so that's not too bad, really, when you think about it. I want the France and Austria, preferably at the same time. How is France thinking about it? You are a little bit more difficult about it, why is that? French opinion of me, neutral attitude. Well, hopefully as we improve, you will get more better, better about me. You are neutral as well. What are you at war with? Aragon, Nepal, Portugal, Br Whoa, that's a big war. Really? Who is Bungurni at war? France, Austria, Hungary, Savoy. Okay, so a lot. Good luck, guys. Get them. That's alright. That's going to be quite a good war there. How are we getting there, guys, though? In discovered, fabricating the claim of Dynsk. That's not nice of Pomeneria, I have to say. And Navy Strength. Okay, they like us for our Navy Strength. Our Army Strength is kind of fluctuates because they building armies to fight the war. Ah, may take a while with Austria. We can't take the l marriages. That's the biggest issue for us. Because as a... As a Titanic order, obviously a Catholic order, we cannot take marriages. Let's just make some money by... I can mothball the force. Let's see. Army tradition. What is army tradition here? Morale of the armies. Let's mothball the force for now. We can do it. Okay, we have you. You and you go. Join you together. That's fine. All of you join there and we'll join you together in one army. And then you can go and protect the trade. Continue doing that. Baltic Sea. So we can get quite a bit there. Is Baltic Sea the end node or not? It's not. You can actually take from it. 
Do we have an end node anywhere near? Nope. But yeah, ideally I would like this territory. So I can claim more. And that's Livonian, Livonian order, so I won't be getting that much. I would like that from Lithuania, I guess, then. Okay, national unrest plus two or lose prestige. We can we can live with unrest. Sure we should be fine. My main concern is Austria. Will you join the alliance yet or not? Oh, you lost some armies. And you will do it this month. Perfect. Let's wait for one month extra. And then dismiss you. Awesome. Go. Will France join me? France will not, but Austria will, and that's more important alliance to me at the moment. Ah! Really? Well, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> we'll try next time. See, shouldn't have should have took it earlier than that. Maybe next month. If anything, we'll order the France guys back. Twenty-five. So still, you are not happy about it. Can't increase that much more. Okay, awesome. France guy, go back. Go back home. 13 days, that's fine, I can wait for that. And what can we do? Still? Awesome, take it. Austria will become our friends. Then we'll send you to France. And improve relationships with them, yes. Okay, 50 administrative power. Or five devotion. Okay, so there is a forger we can do. Let's go for it. We need we need nice administrative power anyway. So I want to go for it. We'll improve relationships with France now. Still need to improve with Austria. Quite a bit actually. Because I need to attack Pomeneria. And I need to join the Holy Roman Empire. In order to do so, I need 157. We'll get there, we'll get there. Do I have a better... No, I don't have any guys that could help me with that faster. That's fine, we can wait with it. My limit of the army is doing okay, the boats are being built. That is fine. It's a decent start there. Let's make sure that you go home at war. I don't want to lose them both. Soon as we do that with Austria, we'll join this. We'll start going after you. I could even start doing it now. Just ban you. And start fabricating the claim. Do -do. Covered action and fabricate the claim. We'll get the claim on stopped and we'll go from there we'll have the two counties from Pomeneria just so I can connect my land sounds I think decent we'll have Kolberg and Stolp yeah go for it then we could start the war on Poland allied with Denmark and Lithuania I would need Austria for it well, we can get there, that's fine. That's fine, we can, we can get there, that should be okay. Can we improve? Yeah, we can, we can improve actually quite a bit the relationship with Austria still. I'm becoming a bit unhappy about something, I don't know sure what. I can quicken it up by giving the military access. As far as I know, that gives you plus 10, last time I checked. But I can just keep rolling with it. I think I will roll with it, we don't have any rush. Lüneburg wants the alliance, I don't want it, so sorry. France, how is your alliance? 43, still your army is not happy with me. That's fine. 
Okay, Moscovy is still not fighting anyone, that's fine. Lithuania is no longer our rival. Have they become too strong for us? Possibly yes. Denmark or Pomeria? We can go for Pomeria. Pomerania even. Pomerania, we can go for them. It will be easier to take the land of them and we'll gain quite a bit for it. Who are you allied with? Not the strongest allies, so that's fine. I would like France to be my dude, but unfortunately not. Because they would help with the war. Your alliance is still 43, what do you need? Neutral attitude is the one that is main concern in here. If you were friendly, that would help a lot. If we were in one war together and being friendly, that would help. Maybe if Austria goes in some sort of war, that would help us a lot. I think one more month and we should be able to join the Empire. Yeah, 57, that's what we need. Let's go for it. Awesome. Okay, now. We can join all this land to the Empire. Which is great, because as long as our capital joins, and Austria will allow us for that, we'll become the member of the Empire. So now we can have this little Imperial war Wars with everybody. And nobody will have a problem with that. Also, Austria, I'm increasing your emperor authority, so you should be happy with me for it. That's fine. We can dismiss you now. We can send you back to France. Or even to Sweden. I think we'll go to Sweden. Support independence, we'll do that. Go. Hopefully more people will join you, because as we support you, your kind of independent strength grows up. So then more people and more will join you before you fire the war. Preferably not when I start the war on Pomeneria. It's fine. In here, relationships, improve relationship with France. That's what I need. Slowly over time, they will become our friends. Sweden will become our friends. You will you are our friend already. Oh we're historical friends as well, we have bonus for it, that's nice. Still want your land. Influence of vassalization, you would say no. Well you would say yes at some point. If we pushed enough economic base. That's nice. Okay, one boat. Select you and select you. Let's meet there. Combine you together and go and patrol. Baltic Sea. Not a touch, but go to go home at war. Perfect. Okay, possibly next year I could start the war. Okay, we're at war with... Oh, with Poland. That is bad. What have you done, Sweden? I, I forgot that Poland is in this war. That is a bad war to be in. Really bad war to be in. Oh, is Lithuania as well involved? Lithuania as well. Oh my god, what have you done? <laughs> what have you done, Norway? As uh, Sweden, what have you done? Okay, we have to increase the forts quickly. Employ the general, so let's go for it. Let's hope for a good one. And uh, not the best, could be better. Maneuver tool. Well, I guess we'll have to go with that. Can we do anything? 
What is the related, related strength? 52. Oh my god, why would you even do it? Who is the leader? Denmark is the leader. We need diplomats. France, go back. Or would you join me, France? In the alliance? Probably not. Although he was getting there. But I want the peace with Denmark. Because that was a bad start. So for peace, da da da, offer. What do you want for us? You want a beat? We'll be forced to give them our 10%, we'll pay 172. Mm, not sure about it. Maybe Poland will not get involved that much, I don't know. Because the purpose of the war is defend capital of Stockholm. I don't think we will defend it. Norway is already occupying the land. Uh, Poland is coming. I may have to actually take it. Hmm, possibly yes. What are I coming with? 4,000 cavalry, 1,000 men? <clears throat> That's a lot of cavalry. And I can take that. Tech levels, what tech levels are you army-wise? Let's check it out. Level 3. We are at level 3 as well. I have to admit, we are not doing great. Denmark, I will have to accept accept your kind peace offer there. Okay, so you won't, just make, make it double sure. Give you 10% of my income and 162 ducats. Denmark will in suffer some penalties for it, that's fine. I will say yes. I have to take the loan for it. We wasn't ready for it at all. So unfortunately that is a no. Military access for Novgorod? Yeah, you can have it if you want. Sweden will lose this war. Why would you go that early when your alliance strength was nowhere near that strong? He completely going to destroy you. I have to start the war on Pomeria though. Livonian Order, why won't you join me? Yeah, I'm not impressed with you. Sweden, funny enough, is our ally still. So even if, even if they defend themselves, they will be, still become our ally. Support independence, I still get that. Even though I left them, pretty much, on day one. That's nice. Can I find Pomeneria? That's the question. Let's have a look. Military, armies. You have 7,000 men. I can fight that. Who are we allied with? East Frisia and Mecklenburg. Should be able to fight you all. If I could get the access from you, that would be the best. No, not nice at all. I'll have to chase you and kill you quickly before you combine armies. But let's check it out further. They have only 6,000 men who can still fight that if they don't combine. And East, whatever you are. And you have 6,000 men as well. I can win it. I believe I can win it. Especially with the manpower nearly near the cup. So we should be fine. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode, guys. So for now, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time.